Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I wanted to tell you a little bit about the new Sirius Pro mount that we've got. I'll run you through some of the features. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting. It's a nice uh, upgrade from some of the features of the Sirius mount. So let's get started and look in depth uh, at the mount. So first of all, this is an equatorial mount designed for either visual or photographic use. It holds up to 30 pounds of telescope, plus whatever counterweights you need uh, to balance on the other side and uh, it's designed to shoot long exposure nebulae, moon and planets, it will uh, go to, it's a fully robotic go to mount with a hand controller. So you punch in what you want to see, it'll go to the object, it will center it, and it'll continue to track it as it moves through the sky. And there's over 40,000 objects in the database, so there's plenty of things to see with the, with the uh, mount itself. It has a few more features than our standard Atlas and Sirius mount uh, do, however. Uh, built into the mount are uh, dual encoders. So not only is the mount a go-to, but if you were to unlock the mount and swing it around manually, either in equatorial or north-south or east-west direction, the computer won't lose track of where it is. On the standard Sirius or the standard Atlas, uh, the non-pro versions, uh, if you were to unlock the mount and move it, well, the computer doesn't know you've done that, and so now you've got to redo the, the computer alignment. So in this case, you can, uh, let's say you wanted to preserve some battery power and you know you wanted to slew to the other side of the sky, well, you can unlock it, move it around manually, get it close to the object that you want to see, then lock it down, and then use the hand controller to go that last little bit to find the object that you're looking for. The alignment of the polar axis is much easier on the Sirius Pro than it is on the standard Sirius. We've uh, included this jack screw that adjusts the telescope up and down in, uh, in altitude. Um, and as you can see, it's spring-loaded, so you just unlock it and push it around. You can get this thing all the way down, I'm going to go down here, to very low latitudes. Uh, on the standard Sirius, you're limited to at least above 10 degrees, I forget exactly what the, the, the limit is, but below that threshold, the counterweights usually smash into the, into the legs. So if you live between 0 degrees latitude and somewhere around 15 degrees latitude, a lot of times it's very difficult to use an equatorial mount. Uh, with this combination pier tripod, the, the legs are a lot lower down than the end of the counterweight shaft. So if you live pretty much on the equator, you could polar align this thing and still use it without hitting the, the legs. When you're slewing around, you're going to notice that the mount is very, very quiet, whisper quiet. Uh, that's because the gearing system uses belt-assisted gears, so you get uh, not that normal grinding noise that you get from using standard uh, worm and, and tooth gears. So a very quiet, um, peaceful night out when you're at a, at a quiet observing site and you're slewing around from object to object. All right, so there you have it, a uh, general overview of the Series Pro mount. Uh, it's nice and lightweight, very portable, uh, designed for visual, either uh, in Altaz mode or in equatorial mode, and will also do great uh, for astrophotography as well. Thank you very much. Clear skies.